Hello everybody out there on YouTube, it is I, James, once again, and here is part two on how to dress like an authentic railroad conductor. Uh, this is coats, um, or just vests, I really should say, but um, here is the first um, coat we are looking at. It is a very specific style of blazer, that is, it has three buttons on it, and it has three pockets on the outside. You have one here. You have another one here and then you have a little shirt pocket up here and you got to make sure that you have these styled lapels I mean you can't really see them um, very well because of the lighting but this usually you want to find these in either blue or a navy sort of color um, black is kind of rare when it comes to most railroad overcoats as the only parts that are really black are either the hat or the actual vest that you wear underneath this. So this is my plain vet. This is my plain jacket that I wear. This is um, one that I usually would wear like either, um, let's say, when I'm visiting another tourist railroad or if I'm going out on a different job that does not require me to wear badges or if they just don't have badges for the railroad, this is kind of what you have. And the second one I'll show is a replica uniform. Here's the second one. It's a slightly lighter um, black. It's more of a. It's got. A, it's more of a really dark grayish color. Um, but this one, as you can see, it follows a similar format. You got the two pockets at the bottom, and then the one at the top. And then on the lapels, as you can see, this one has a badge on it right here. And then you have um, some lapel pins. Now, most major railroads did make lapel pins that they would have on either side of the lapel um, for the conductor to wear. Um, one of the best examples of this is the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroads um, conductor uniform, which you can actually buy a lot of those online. They're surprisingly cheap. Um, as you can see on mine, I have a few extra stickers. I have my club badge pin. I also have a station and a little steam engine on mine. Now these blazers are very cheap to find at secondhand stores. The both both of them that I got were six dollars each um, in total, costing about twelve bucks in total. So they're really easy to find, really cheap. Um, and of course, some of them they are, their pockets are sewn, so you have to clip them so that way you can get to them and everything like that. But they are very cheap, but um, let it be known that on a hot day, they can get very hot. Um, you never want to get ones that just have two buttons. Um, you want generally three or more. Um, that's your score. If you have three or less, um, just let them rest because uh, you don't want those. Because those are dress blazers. Those are meant for... Um, occasions this is actually meant for working in. Not to mention you'll notice another thing these blazers actually have a little bit more um, arm room in them than other ones. Uh, the other these ones have generally have a little bit more for moving around so they're a bit better for mobility than the regular style blazer that you can find. Um, some railroads actually just used straight up button overcoats which actually drape down a lot further. If you can get one of those, that's definitely um, a well-deserved fine. You can generally use that for making a um, East Coast styled conductor or a European railroad conductor if you really wanted to. Um, but for mine, I generally stick with the Midwest and the Southeast. Um, well, not Southeast, I should say Southwest. <laughs> Um, Midwest and Southwest. That's usually what I stick with. Um, it's just easier to find and also these are a little bit more breathable. They're not as thick as an overcoat so if you're in hot weather these won't kill you instantaneously but you will get fairly hot in these but um, good news is, is that they're breathable and you don't always have to have the front buttoned up. In fact most of the time you actually leave this open um, you only really button it up if it's particularly nasty outside or something like that. You generally keep the uh, part of it open. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you later.